Hey guys, so Cat Williams did a sit-down interview with Shannon Sharp and in this interview, he spilled so many teas and also came for so many celebrities including Kevin Hart, Tiffany Haddish, Luda Chris and many more. So I'm going to be showing you guys what he said about these people and also their responses. Firstly, this was what he said about Kevin Hart. For a five-year period, every single movie that Kevin Hart did was a movie that had been on my desk. All I had said was, just can we take some of this step and fetch it shit out? Like, it don't need to be overtly homosexual because I'm not homosexual, right? Me saying that and them going, oh yeah, no problem. And then going to give it to this other guy and having him do it just like it was. And acting like I'm a bad person because I keep standing on my standard. But it's interesting, but I, I wouldn't change it for the world. Like. Again, I'm on the winning side. <laughs> he already had his deals when he got here. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. Yeah, Kevin Hart purchased it, so he's now doing Comic View. That happened at the same time that they gave DC Young Fly. Yeah, because they tell you that there's no gatekeepers. We keep seeing the same people open the gate. Didn't Kevin open the gate and let Tiffany in? And he now opening it up for... What do you mean ain't no gatekeepers? There's a hundred gates out here. Everyone I've seen got a keeper. Why? Because you don't make me the villain. Not the guy that raises black children and ain't never done a hard drug in his life and don't have no stories of doing nobody dirty. I'll just go out and they'll lie. The, the industry doesn't mess with Cat because he didn't show up for the studio. I look at my IMDB. It will show you that no studio has ever lost money with me on the script. If I go in the building, he walk out. You've never seen us in the same building ever in 25 years. Why? Why? Yes, because what? I'm really the product, not what you think. I am never under the influence of anything. I'm always a physical specimen. According to this video, Kat called Kevin an industry plant and this was Kevin's response. Gotta get that anger up, champ. It's honestly sad. In the meantime, please enjoy my movie trailer to my next film, Lift, which will be dropping on Netflix in 8 days. There is a moment in this trailer where someone said they really love you. I now know she's talking about you, Kat. Mark your calendar word. This one is special. The next person Kat unleashed an attack on is Luda Chris. Let's see what it had to say about Luda before Luda responded. Are you related to uh, Luda? No. So there was a crossroads where we were both invited to an Illuminati thing. It had to be one or the other of us and decisions had to be made. So it was both of us, we were equal. One of us had to cut off all their hair and the next person they said was going to get $200 million. And that's how the conversation happened. One of those persons turned out to be ludicrous and the other person turned out to be Cat Williams. I didn't get it. I'm not mad about it. Fast and Furious is on what number right Damn. now? That's what they all end up saying at the end of the day. After this, Luda clapped back at him with this video. They throwing shade because niggas could never take my shine. I bring my watch collection on my jet. Let me take my time. Never been Illuminati, only a Illuminati. And I only left with bitches when coming from any party. Never been a clout chaser, never say shit for like Flex when you earn every one of your Fast and Furious checks. Afro with the sideburns. Yeah, that's my signature. Addictions on the rise. Comedians check your temperature. The last person to respond to Kat after he did this interview was Tiffany Haddish. This is what he first said about her before she responded. They just, they think they can rewrite history. Guy Tory did a beautiful special about the comedy store where he said that Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came through there and made lies. Steven Cedric never performed at the comedy store. Tiffany was only seen at the Laugh Factory. This was Tiffany's response. I'm not mad. I just wish he would get his facts right about me. Dang, I guess I would send him a reminder text, but are we sure this is Cat Williams? He looks like Charlie Stone White. So guys, let me know what your opinions and thoughts are by leaving them in the comment box down below. Thank you guys for watching this video.